What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Beef Fishing and today we got the Mystery Tackle Box unboxing. This is November's Mystery Tackle Box. We're going to see what goodies are inside of here and uh, I'm going to give it away and I'll tell you how to win it at the very end. I'm going to pick my tops uh, from one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, however many baits are in the box. I kind of want you guys to follow along and uh, like I said, hang out to the end and we'll give it away. If you don't know, my name is Brett. I run the Bee Fishing Channel along with a couple of buddies um, and uh, we make some pretty, pretty interesting fishing videos. Uh, we do a lot of things at our pond. Uh, just a whole lot of fishing related content on the channel. So uh, stick around, enjoy, and uh, let's get this thing open. Let's do it. Alright, so I'm going to jump into this, hopefully not waste any of you guys' time. November Mystery Tackle Box uh, for 2019. This is the Bass Pro Edition, so let's uh, take our little knife here, slice that open, and uh, let's see what goodies await us inside. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull out the paperwork. Uh, apparently a holiday shopping guide. Uh, we're going to toss that to the side. That's the Dibble. I uh, don't know what this part is, challenged by Carl. But we have the Dibble. Uh, we have the what is in your box, and we'll follow that card along. And then, of course, we have our sticker. Looks like a, a bass playing a bass. So there you go. There's our sticker. Starting first, here's all our baits. We've got a catch co bait. We got a live target bait. A Perfection lures, a Strike King, Carl's, and a big bite baits. So we've got what is that? Six things in the box, and uh, let's get to crack a lacking. First up is the catch co. Bubonic Bugs Square Bill. That's going to be this guy. Uh, $11.99. Really proud of it, apparently, on a square bill. Um, this looks like it's almost in that watermelon color. What uh, what color is this? Got a little bit of pink right there on the bottom with the green. Uh, berry Bug is the color. Berry Bug. Um, really kind of looks like a watermelon color to me. I'm not going to open this up. It is taped because, you know, I'm giving this away to you guys. Um, these square bills, I, personally, not, not too big of a fan of them. I do like the crawl pattern though. Um, I could do without green. I really wish it was in like a red. Um, maybe a chrome bottom with red or just a red and a, a, like an orange underneath. All right, so the reason I think the crawl pattern and hopefully we've got, it does look like we've got some more crawl stuff in here. Just to keep this in mind as we go through the video, crawls spawn twice a year. They spawn in the spring and the fall. Um, everybody knows the spring bite is your big bass bite because we're coming out of, you're coming out of winter. Those bass are really fattening up to for their spawn and they eat a bunch of those crawfish as they're as they're fattening up but i would hope what most people would realize but it turns out on my channel when i mentioned this most people didn't is that in the fall crawls spawn again it's all based on water temperature usually when it hits the 50s they'll go through their spawn again um, it is actually more intense and can be more intense than the spring spawn of those crawfish because the spring spawn they're coming out of that winter cold cold water and it's warming up they're still a little bit sluggish they're they're moving a little bit slow those invertebrates are but in the fall we're going from warm water to cooler water so because the warm water has got them all active um, as it cools off they're actually a little bit more active going into their spawn leading up to it um, as opposed to the spring so the fall spawn for crawfish is actually one of the best times to do your crawl imitations such as the bubonic uh, crawl square bill so hopefully we've got some more crawl stuff in here. It looks like we do. This is gonna be number one at the moment. Um, I'm gonna flip you guys back around and we'll dig back more into this box. I just thought you guys might wanna know what you should be doing this time of year when your water hits the 50s, which in Alabama, that's where we're getting to. I know you guys up north are already talking about ice and ice. I don't even know, I don't even know what to do with ice. Usually when we get even a dusting of snow, we shut down the whole city. Get your milk, get your bread, you know, it's shut it down. We don't know what to do. We just don't have the equipment to handle ice or snow. So good on you guys, but we're still in the uh, 50s water temp down here. So these crawl patterns are perfect for us. All right, got you guys flipped back around. This is our number one, the bubonic crankbait over here. Only because it's the first one we've done so far at $11.99. I think that's a that's a little pricey for just a square bill. I mean, I mean, what is this? This isn't a multi-jointed swim bait. What are we doing over here? That's pretty expensive. Let's jump in to the next one, which is a live target crawfish crankbait. This is this guy. Live Target makes some really awesome paint jobs on their uh, on all of their products, really. Um, which I'm not so sure catches more fishermen than it catches fish with Live Target, but hey. It's a really good looking bait. This is in the chartreuse green 
I believe that's what it's called, or green chartreuse. I'm so sorry, green chartreuse, not chartreuse green. I could have done to gone more red because as the water temperature cools and they start they start their mating, their their spawning, uh, they actually turn like a, a really deep red. Um, in the summer, you know, they'll turn brown. But as you get those fall rain showers, you get that stained water, and this thing could actually really help you out a lot. Um, this thing dives to, it looks like, four to six feet. So a good little shallow to medium diver. So you can find yourself some rock piles and bounce this thing off the bottom. I think you'll have some pretty good success. I'm actually gonna put this, number one at the moment, and move the uh, bubonic crankbait down just a little bit. There it is, one and two at the moment. Let's jump into the next thing. That is the Perfection Lures Sure Hookup Shaky Head. That's gonna be this guy. This is somewhat of an, I mean, it's an, it's an original idea. It's got these little, these little arms on the back to help that thing stand up. So if you're not using a Z-Man product that stands up on its own, this thing will help you keep it upright. So you've got your line point right there, your eye for the line, and then you've got your little stand-up sticks. And so it's gonna keep that bait standing as you're dragging it across the bottom. And it'll show you, you know, tubes, grubs, sinkos, lizards, crawdads, and finesse worms. I think this is, a, this is a really, really good shaky head. I really, really like the legs on it. I've got a lot of folks around I've got a really good friend that actually uses these a lot. Um, he swears by them. So, 3 16th ounce in black. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that all day. I'm going to move that to the top. That's going to be number one right now. I really like that shaky head and terminal tackle. All right, up next on the list, we have the Strike King Rage Tail Twin Tail Menace Grub. Um, I, I assume it's got to be this guy. I mean, this is a uh, this is basically just a crawl pattern. Let me see if I can get it open. Good lord, half the battle sometimes is open in your baits, uh, especially when it gets cold out there. Yeah, this is just a little crawl imitation. You know, I'm a huge fan of the Strike King Rage series. Uh, they've got that nice little flange on the end of each of their appendages, which really creates a lot of water movement. Um, they're nice and soft. This guy is looks like it's almost in like a goby, uh, a goby color. Um, but if it had a little bit more silver, I would also say it was in like a... Uh, green pumpkin magic but it's got a little bit of green purple blue um, looks like and that is in a pumpkin or a green pumpkin uh, it's really hard to tell with all the glitter in there color I really like this again our crawl stuff is what's gonna it's what's gonna do it and you could easily put this on that that shaky head and bounce it across rock different areas so I really like that I'm gonna put this I'm gonna move this actually mm, do I put it at two or three two or three I'm gonna put it at two Again, these are my own personal picks um, over here to the side. I'm going to back y'all up just a little bit so y'all can still see what order we're going in. Next, I've got the Carl's Amazing Baits uh, Flicker Worm, which is going to be this guy. This would definitely go good on that shaky head. I mean, the pairing of this, you're going you're gonna to see, an, oh yeah, it's super soft. What, what we got going on here? What is, what is this little thing? I think that may be like a uh, little defect there. That's okay though. Fish aren't really gonna care about that. Um, I could see this totally being on a shaky head. Nice little finesse worm. Look, I mean, look how soft that middle is. Uh, you put that on that shaky head, that's gonna work really, really well. You can fish that literally anywhere. Um, so when the bite slows down, go to that shaky head or a drop shot. This is a little bit too big for a drop shot. Um, you could probably bite a little bit of it off and use it on a drop shot though. But I really like that. It's a pretty good color too. A little bit of red, a little bit of brown glitter right there. Uh, really like the color. It doesn't tell me what color it's in itself, but I like the color. I um, haven't seen that color all too often in stuff that I throw. I'm going to put this at a solid fourth out of the uh, five things that we've done. Notice I'm, I'm throwing that square bill a little bit a little bit further down there. I'm just not, not, a, not a fan, mainly because of the price. The price on it, it's just... I think it's way overpriced for what you're getting, honestly. Uh, Y'all could back me up that in the comments if, uh, if you don't mind, because uh, Catchco may not like that I'm saying that. Again, not sponsored by Catchco. I'm not sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box at all. Wouldn't mind being, but um, I think that's a little overpriced. I know it's custom, but it's the exact same pattern on every single one of them. Last up, we've got the Big Bites Bait Swimming Crawl, and that's going to be this guy, I believe. Oh, and I can't open it. I'd have to tear it to open it. I believe this is almost like the uh, net bait. It does feel like the mouth of this thing is hollow. Um, so right around, if y'all can see, this is one individual crawl right here. One individual crawl right here. 
This upper part where the appendages shoot off is hollow, so it's got a little bit of an air pocket in there with an open mouth. This part is solid, so you could actually still put this on the shaky head. Um, you could, I mean, you could really rig this up any way you want. The color is called Crime Scene. Um, a lot of different colors in there. I see some green glitter, blue glitter, uh, and it looks like it's got a little bit of a color change on the top to bottom. A little bit more blue in the top and a little bit more green pumpkin on the bottom of the bait. So again, I like these baits. I'm actually gonna put this last though. Um, I think they're all pretty good, but I'm gonna throw that one last just because it's not something I normally throw. Again, this is my order. Your order could be totally different. And what I want you to do is get in the comments and tell me what order you would put them in. So up first, I've got that stand-up shaky head. I like the legs on that. I think that's gonna prove to be Super, super helpful when you're fishing that shaky head to keep it standing uh, so you know it doesn't roll over. I know it's on a football head, so it's really hard to roll over, but it's got those legs on it. I've got the Strike King Rage Tail. I really like Strike King's Rage Tail stuff with the flange on it. It just gets a lot of action. It is uh, infused with coffee, and I don't mind that color either. That color's not too bad. That Live Target bait just looks really, really good. It's a really good paint job. I think it's a good depth. I think you can bounce it off some rock, get some fish uh, to react off of it. Uh, I also think this would go really good on the shaky head. The Carl's Amazing Baits Flicker Worm. Um, really, really good looking bait. Really, really soft bait. Then I've got the Bubonic. The only reason this is down here, if this was at like a seven or eight dollar price point, it would probably move up a little bit higher. But the fact that it's twelve dollars, it's eleven ninety nine. I think that's way overpriced for this thing. I'd, unless it literally is a magnet and fish just constantly bite at every throw, that's pretty overpriced for a square bill. I mean, let's be honest. And it. The paint job doesn't really make sense to me either. A solid green with like a watermelon color on the bottom. I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it, Catch Co. I don't understand the, the paint job. And they even have some that are like blue. Um, yeah, don't get it. Give me a red if you're gonna put crawl on it or an orange or brown. Uh, but this green thing, I'm just not digging it. I don't, it wouldn't go good in stained water. It wouldn't go good in clear water. It just doesn't, I don't know. Just doesn't make sense to me, not a fan. Um, and then I've got these guys, which, I, I like the moving bait better um, just because it's a moving bait. That's what I prefer, but this will work. I, I just not a huge fan. If I'm already getting these, I don't really need these um, in my opinion. So that's, that's my, that's my top six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite out of this and what order do you have them in? Am I close to your order? Uh, is there anything you would change about my order and why? I mean, Take the time to try to sway my judgment on this. This is my initial reaction. I just opened the box. This is what I'm thinking straight off the cuff. Um, you know, no ad libs, no let's go back and research baits. This is open the box, give you my initial impressions. And a lot of times that does change. Give me a couple of days to think about it and I'll actually change the way I would use this stuff. Um, but again, this is my initial reaction. All right, folks, so you're probably asking yourself, what do I have to do to win this thing? Well, it's very, very simple. All you gotta do is like this video, leave a comment below on what your order would be, if my order was wrong, if my order was right. You don't have to tell me yes or no, but I really kinda know what, what was your favorite bait in the box, and uh, what, do you, what did you think of my order? Did I, did I nail it or not? And uh, try to sway me in the right direction if you think I was off. Last thing you need to do is hit the red subscribe button, turn it gray, uh, turn on the ding dong notifications if you want, that's optional. I'm not gonna force you to turn on ding dong notifications. And a lot of y'all go, man, this is this is a giveaway to try to grab more subs and more views. And yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. I'm not gonna even try to hide that. That's exactly what this is. But what I try to do with this is if you watch some of my content after the giveaway, so you gotta stay subscribed to the whole giveaway. If you see some of my content after the giveaway and you like it, just stay subscribed. If not, no harm, no foul. I'm, all I'm asking for is give me a chance and uh, join the bee fishing family, the BFF. I know, a little lame, but that's all we got. We got an Alabama education. What do you expect? Join team bee fishing and uh, get you some free get you some free baits from this month's mystery tackle box. So if you do those three things on this date, I will announce the winner. It'll be a week from today. Uh, I'll announce the winner. If you don't mind, in the comment, go ahead and put your like Facebook. Um, a link to your Facebook or a link to your Instagram just so I can direct message you if you do win. What I'll do though, if you win, I will pin your comment here so YouTube should send you an email. So be looking out a week from today on this date to see whose comment was pinned and that's how I select my winner. I do it all by random, um, but you gotta do those three things to be entered. And if you do, I'll heart the comment and I'll let you know you're, you're, you're in it to win it. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, liked the order, and again, if you didn't, let me know. And uh, I hope you enjoy the content on the channel if you are new. We do a lot of crazy things. Uh, like I said, we've got a pond that we're trying to fix up, get bigger bass in. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week. Have a great Veterans Day. Be sure to salute our vets, um, the guys that keep us safe, keep us doing what we're doing here at home so we can enjoy fishing, we can enjoy being outdoors. And uh, we owe it all to them, all the veterans that keep this country free. So you guys have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.